Hi and welcome back. I wanted to just do a quick video and share my December daily. I did, this is the second one I've ever done. I did one for last year and I really enjoyed it. And I was going to bring it down so I could show a what last year's looked like, but I forgot. So let me widen out just a little bit. Okay. And um, this year I used a small, I'm not even sure what, oh, this was an envelope. This was one of those six by nine inch envelopes, maybe. Let me see. That was one of these six by nine inch manila envelopes. And what I did, I did reinforce it with tape inside so that the binding would be firm. And then I used uh, washi tape on the spine and I did the pamphlet stitch to hold my pages in. And these were Jolie stickers. I just love these dear stickers. I think I've had them in my stash a couple of years and I decided I just had to use them. and. So I did, and I thought they made a great cover, a lot of fun. So if you open it up, you'll see inside is the this side of the envelope, and I did put some tags and things in it. I haven't got any photos in here yet because my printer has decided to go on the fritz. So I have to figure out why that's not working. Actually, the printer's working. The app that prints the pictures from my phone isn't working. But these are some uh, die cuts uh, that I've had in my stash for a long time. I have to put a little gold ribbon here from the teddy bear's paw to the balloon. And this is an assortment of paper and things. I'm just using up my stash. And then I have uh, the stocking on the inside cover. It's many and varied things here. I'm just looking to see if I have anything I could use to show. I'll just use this. That this is a tuck spot. So that things can be tucked in there and photos can go there. And then my next page are nutcrackers. And this is an, uh, a white envelope that I haven't slit, but I could slit to make a top pocket. And then there's a birdhouse. And over here I have the cardinal, which is also a tuck spot and a glittery ornament. I think red might be the color for me this year, although I didn't plan it that way. And there's a, another sticker and a foam deer on another envelope. Oh, oh no, my package came off. I guess I'll have to re-glue that. And an ornament. And then a baby doll, who is also a tuck spot. These are just fun pages for my December daily. And I'll go through and uh, add my pictures and my journaling. I have it all written down, so all I have to do is add it here. Here's some Christmas trees and an ornament. And more packages, stocking, another doll, and some ornaments. And if you know I'm I do like to make dolls, so it's appropriate that I have dolls. And then here's just a fun paper clip out of some of the paper, some stickles, and uh, a piece of bling, and a green and white striped paper clip. That seems appropriate for Christmas. And here's gingerbread that are tuck spots. And that's just a die cut that I have there. And here's another gingerbread. And that's the center of this, out this um, 
December daily. And for this I used the craft cards that come with envelopes that you can buy in Michaels. I'm kind of using up my stash. So I just cut these down a little bit and stacked them together. And here's a Christmas tree and Santa. And a teddy riding a train and a window all decorated with Christmas lights and greenery. And I believe this is December 21st, and that's my granddaughter Samantha's 10th birthday this year. And then we have a wreath and a deer, Santa's deer. And here we have Christmas Eve where packages come and we leave cookies for Santa. And then here's the big day itself, December 25th. Merry Christmas. And there's Santa and children and what better way to personify Christmas. And here's the day after Christmas, which in my house is called Tweener Day because that was the day between Christmas and my late husband's birthday because his birthday was December 27th. So we had Tweener Day. That was a celebration too. And there's the end of my album because I went all the way through the month. And then here's a nutcracker for celebration because we're coming into a bright and beautiful new year. And I know that I'm going to put my pictures in here and my journaling and I will really enjoy looking back on this. And I also opened up, I have this, this December Daily is open at both ends so that I can store any extra little memories, special cards and things that I get this year, and it will all be safe. And the back is just plain because I like to have a flat surface on the back. And to bind this, I just took some stretch cord because I know it's already big and it's gonna get bigger. And I just attached a couple of Christmas charms, a Christmas lantern, and a um, light bulb from a Christmas string. And that just goes around this little December daily like this and holds it securely in place. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing my December daily for 2015 and that you have a wonderful, joyous holiday season. I know that my family and I will have a very Merry Christmas, and I hope that you are just enjoying each day as it comes. God bless you. Um, I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this. So I would love to see my YouTube community grow. Please have a bright, safe, and healthy new year. Thanks for watching. Bye.